Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Hope you guys are doing great. Today in this video we are going to work on navigate function in Power Apps and we will see how to send value from one page to another page. So what we will be doing in this video, we will have a few buttons over here and I'm setting one variable, contextual variable. Um, behind this button, like name, I'm setting age contextual variable behind this button and as soon as I click on this, it will go on the second page and will show the value of the contextual variable name on the second page. In the same way, the value of contextual variable age on the next page. And during this video, I will show what is behind this button. So let's start. Okay, so this is our empty app and we have screen one. Uh, we are going to create and this screen. So we will go from this screen to screen two using navigate function. So on the screen one, I will create a few buttons and um, then I will create a few contextual variables. And then we'll use navigate function to go from one page to another page. And then we will send also those contextual variables from screen one to screen two. If you want to learn what is variable, what is contextual variable, what is global variable, what is collection. So I have other videos on my channel. You can check those out. I will add links in the description of this video. Okay, so let's start putting a few buttons. Now I'm going to change labels on these buttons. So we will create contextual variable behind this button name. We will create second contextual variable age behind this button. And then we will update both, ne uh, both name contextual variable and age contextual variable behind this button. And then we will move to the next page using these buttons. About this button, I will explain later. Okay, so we are going to put one label on this screen, screen one, and we will put another label on screen two so that we know which screen we are on. Now we are going to use navigate function to move from screen one to screen two. So we will use navigate. So in navigate function, first parameter is which screen you are going to. So at this moment we are on screen one and we want to go to screen two. So we will set screen two and we will close this parameter. We will run this app. And as soon as we click over here, it will go to the next page, screen two. So we are on screen two. Let me put one button over here back so that we can move easily. And on clicking on this button, we will use back function. Oh, sorry. Back function. So it will go to the previous page. Okay, <clears throat> so now we know how to move from one screen to another screen using navigate function. This is the first parameter we use. This is the screen name where you want to go. Now, there is one more parameter. What transition you want to have while you are moving from one screen to another screen. So we will go one by one on this. So first is cover. So if I select this page, this parameter cover, And if I click on this, so how it will move to the second page. When it was nothing over there, in the second parameter, see how it will go. It is just showing second page, no transition. Now if I use
cover. So how do we go? You see, it is moving from left to right. Now we are going to use second one, cover right. Let's see. How do we go? So now it is moving from left to right, cover right. You can check others, but we will use a uh, last one over here. Dot. For example, uncover fade. We will go with the fade. So how it will look? See. So it is fading screen one and going to the screen two. Now we are going to use our variables in the navigate function. But before that, we need to have those variables. So I'm going to create one contextual variable behind this button. And the syntax to create a contextual variable is update context my name Sayed. So this is the syntax to create a contextual variable and when we click on this button it will create one contextual variable with the name my name you can name it like anything for example employee name manager name anything i just put my name okay so as soon as i click this it will it will create a variable contextual variable my name so we know this is the name of the variable i'm just copying this and i'm going to the next page and i'm going to create few labels over here so that we can show those values from the screen one on this page So this is name, this is age. Okay, over here, we will show a variable value from the previous screen for the name variable. And over here, we will show age from the previous screen again. So if I use a variable name, my name, so it will not show because it's a contextual variable, we can use only on, on the screen where we have created. So if I go back on the screen one, if I run my app, if I go, if I click on this, so it will show nothing over here. Okay, let's go back and I will click this, then it will create a contextual variable, my name, and the value of that contextual variable is Sayed. And then I will click on this button. I have clicked this and the contextual variable has been created. Now I'm going to the next page. Uh, again, we cannot see. But contextual variable has been created, but we cannot see the value over here. Okay, the reason is we have not added our contextual variable in navigate function. So variable is there, but we have not added our contextual variable in the navigate function. So let's add, an, add some variable over here. We see, you see the third the third parameter in that navigate function. So we can send our variables over here. So what is the syntax to send values? Okay, so we will here we will say my navigate variable. You can use any uh, any name over here, and this is the name we will use on the second screen. And we are going to assign our context variable what we have created behind this button to this variable. Okay. So my my name over here because we are on the same screen where, where we created our contextual variable my name that's why we are able to use this variable so once when i click this button it will assign the value of my name variable into this variable and then we will use this on screen two Okay, let's go back. Click set name, variable is still there. Click next button. Now, 
variable is there on the second screen. We created contextual variable on screen one. We assign that variable into the navigate function. And then we use that variable name over here. And we can use variable what we created on the previous page. In the same way, we can create a contextual variable for age and then we can add that variable navigate function and then we can use this variable over on the second page. Let's do it quickly. Okay, now I'm going to run this app. So I'm going to click on this button and then I will click over here. Now I've clicked age variable is set with 12 value and then I'm going to click this so we can see, okay, 12 over here. So now the third thing what we are going to see, uh, I'm going to update these two variables on this button and then I will send both of these two variables together in one navigation over here. We used only my name <coughs> on this navigation function. We use only my age. Now over here, I will send both of these two variables together in the one navigate function. Oh, I'm sorry. I am changing value. So I have changed, I have updated value of my name variable to send from Sayyid and I have changed value of my age from 12 to 25 on this button. Over here, we are going to use both two variables together so that we can use both of these two variables on the second page in one call. Let's copy this and come over here. <clears throat> my Nevar and my name. So now you can see we have used my name and my age in one navigation function. And as soon as I click on this, we will take both of those two variables with the updated value because we will click over here and we'll go to the next page and show the updated value on the second page. Let's check. Okay, first I'm going to click on this button. So now it has updated both two values, two variables. And now I'm going to click over here. So it will show Hussein and 25 on the second page. Because we sent both variables in one call, in one navigation function. So that's why we are able to use both of those two variables. Okay, so what is about this button? So what's the difference between these three buttons and this button? What we did in these three buttons, we created variable first, then we used those variables in navigate function to move from screen one to screen two. It is not required you should use variable or not. You can still use hard coded values in your navigation function so that you can use those values on another page. So over here, we created variable over here, we created variable and then we used those variables in the navigate function like this. But you can use hard code values instead of using variables. Let me show you. Copy this. Paste. Change variable over here. And remove this variable as well. Put hard code value 35. Now, I'm not using variable over here. I am just using hard code values. 
so that we can use these variables on the second page. We are not using contextual variable over here. We are using hard coded values. Let's run this one. And if I click this, it will go to the second page with the hard coded values and we'll see those on the next page. Now the variables have been changed. The values have been changed. Say to send and age. These are hard coded values I am using in navigate function. So it is not necessary you will use contextual variable and then assign in navigate function and then move from one screen to another screen. You can use hard code values as well, what we did in this function. So far, what we have seen in this video, we have used navigate function to move from one screen to another screen. We have seen different transitions while using navigate functions. We have created contextual variable. We have assigned that contextual variable in the navigate function so that we can use on another page. Plus in the last, what we have seen, we can use hard coded values in the navigation function so that we can use on the second page. If you are doing a lot of passing between screens, so you might go with the global variable. Again, I have another video for global variable, contextual variable in collection. You can check my description. So if you are using variable in, in the whole app, on, on multiple pages, so you can go with the global variable. But if you are using variables only on two screens from one screen to another screen, you can go with contextual variable. Hope you learned something new in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Keep learning, keep smiling.